Good morning students. Today we are going to learn term 2 science unit 1 food. I hope you all must know what is food. Food is one of the basic needs of life. We get energy for all our activities from food. Food obtained from the nature provides all the nutrients to our body but seeing the advertisement we are attracted towards junk food in this lesson we will study about food items that are good for our health cooking methods and the importance of not wasting food students now let's see what is food in our daily life, we depend on plants and animals for our food. Some can be eaten raw, but most of them need to be cooked. Let's see what food can be eaten raw and which one needs cooking. First one, raw food, which means uncooked food. Food that we eat directly without cooking is called raw food. We eat fruits, some vegetables, tubers and nuts in the raw form. Some pulses and cereals are also eaten as raw food. All raw food must be washed with clean water before eating. Now let's see the pictures of raw food. Fruits vegetables, tubers and nuts. Now let's see second one cooked food. We cannot eat all the food items in raw form. Food that needs to be processed using heat before it can be eaten is called cooked food. Let's see some examples for cooked food. Vegetable gravy, dosa, idli, vada, rice, puri, idiyapam and bhaji. Students, why should we cook food? Cooked food is digested easily. Cooking softens the food materials. Cooking kills germs. Cooking adds taste and flavor to food. Now let's see some methods of cooking. First one, boiling. It is a method of cooking food by immersing it in boiling water. So that the food becomes soft. Example, rice and egg. Now let's see the second method. Steaming. It is a method of cooking food in steam by immersing the vessel in a container with boiling water. Example, idli and idiyapam. Next method is pressure cooking. It is a method of cooking food in a pressure cooker. Example, rice and dal. Next method is roasting. It is a method of cooking food by heating on a tawa or frying pan without covering it. Example, groundnuts and cashew nut. The last method is frying. It is a method of cooking food in hot oil example chips and puri now let's see a flow chart of cooking method cooking method is undergoes by moist heat dry heat and other methods first let's see about moist heat boiling steaming and pressure cooking now let's see about dry heat, roasting, 
baking and frying the last one is other methods microwave cooking and solar cooking now let's see some cooking habits wash your hands with soap before cooking wash your vegetables and fruits before cutting wash cooking vessels and knives don't cook food for a long time because it destroys the nutrients present in the food don't use the same oil for cooking food many times using the food items after their expiry date is not good for health okay students we have finished our class today i'll see you in the next class thank you